What the fuck has voting for anybody specifically done for the black community specifically? Because I get tired of people dancing around this. Oh, we can't just talk about black. Why not? The LGBT can specifically get every right in the fucking world. The Jews can specifically get mm. every right in the world. Everybody else, the Asians, stop Asianate. They can specifically get everything in the world. But when it's time for blacks, okay, this is just for us. Oh, no, nah, it, it's about people. It's we all people. Nah, fuck that. We we all people, but we all different people. Everybody else got their piece of the pie. It's time for black people to step up and take their piece of the pie because they ain't giving it to you. Well, see, Bottom line. And, and I, I, I agree slightly. I agree with you. But but then I also don't because I think that, you know, the 1964 Civil Rights Act following with the 1965 Voting, Voting Act were the, probably, those were the two biggest civil rights acts for any race in America um, and really gave, I think, any race in America access. Like everybody else was to piggyback off of that as well. So I think while they could do more for us and, and maybe voting doesn't necessarily help us all the time, it did. I just don't think that we necessarily, as a people, capitalized on it. I think civil, we lost civil, more with civil the civil rights, rights act movement. was the worst thing we that ever happened more. to black people. On top of that, you don't listen. No, of course. In order is. to right, listen, that, we I mean, talked about that shit all the listen, time. That was damn near the, the worst thing, thing that thing. ever happened. Listen, so what I'm a, saying is that what I'm saying is this: in the long run, of course, it's the worst thing. But if you were 25 years old in 1963 and you couldn't go and do whatever you wanted to do, and you had to go to the back of the bus, whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. That might sound like equal opportunity to you at that point in time. Hold on, so back of which that, bus though? You only had to go on the back of the buses. bus on the white buses. Right, that's we had what I'm our saying. Own bus we had our own bus. We had our own bus company. That's what I'm telling you. Black people had their own before uh, civil rights. Civil rights and desegregation destroyed the black insulated economy, right. which you see the Asians enjoying, the Mexicans got theirs and everybody. They destroyed ours with civil rights because we- and I completely and, understand that, but my question to y'all then is why did- and, and I get it. If, if we were doing so good, because I believe we were doing good, but I believe that, and I wasn't back then in that time, but I believe there was something that inclined our people to say, this is what we want. We want I'm acceptance. Tell you. Hold on, hold on. I believe we want acceptance you know? because we were already accepted amongst each other. We were already thriving amongst each other. But the fact that these other groups still hated us, still called us whatever they was calling us back then, we wanted that to stop. Mm. Me, personally, I'm an eye for an eye type of guy. It's fuck me, niggas. Fuck you, too. Fuck your acceptance. But, but see, Because I ain't got to accept you. So we can thrive together, but still know that, hey, we're different people. We don't got to like each other, but we can get along to keep this economy booming. But I feel like we gave up our economy just for acceptance, just for people to say, all right, we like you. You come eat with us. You come drink with us. You can ride on our buses. And guess what? They still don't like there was a psych There was a PSYOP run on the black community, and the person who was the leader of that was Martin Luther King. He was a paid FBI agent. He was paid by the government. CIA. If, it's, it, whichever one. He was a paid agent of the government. And what happened was, there's a there's a movie called How to Sell to the Negro that came out from the Treasury of the United States in like 1957. They needed to get access to our economy because they understood that they had an inner economy, economy within the United States economy that was a multi-billion dollar economy at the time. Black, if you notice, the first thing, the first group they always go after, whether it's the uprising in Iran, right, or if it's the civil rights movement, who do they recruit for that? The students. Kids are emotional, they're usually underinformed, and they depend on their parents so they don't feel the economic impact of the things that they do, right? So they got the student sit-ins when they went in and sat in those different restaurants. Then on top of that, you have Martin Luther King preaching this, we shall overcome all, you know, kumbaya rhetoric, and, and um, I have a dream speech was the worst speech in the history of black America because the I Have a Dream speech took black progress from being the primary goal of black people to white acceptance being the pinnacle of black existence.